Welcome to the How to Play for Cocktail Party, the card game guaranteed to lift your spirits. In this game, it's a race to be the first player to reach 25 points by making the best cocktails. You do this by collecting sets of the correct ingredient cards and playing them on your turn. To set up the game, separate the ingredients cards from the cocktail cards and shuffle each pile separately. Now deal each player five ingredient cards. The ingredients are split into the following types. Syrup, liquor, bitters, wine, juice, soda, spirits, condiments and garnish. Now place the reference sheet in the centre with the setup side facing up and lay out the remaining cards following the guide. The number of face-up ingredient cards should match the number of players. Now flip the reference sheet over to the menu side and put it in the centre so everyone can see it. It shows you all the drinks you can make and how to make them. Choose a player to be the first bartender and give them the bartender chip. Don't worry, everyone gets a turn to be the bartender. The game is played in rounds and each round consists of two phases. During the ingredient phase, all players must take an ingredient from the centre. Then, in the cocktail phase, all players have the opportunity to make a drink from the centre by discarding cards from their hand. Let's play an example round. The bartender can choose one of the face-up ingredient cards from the centre and add it to their hand. Note, you can't make a cocktail just yet. Alternatively, the bartender can choose to reserve a mystery cocktail from the cocktail draw pile, not the face-up cards, and add it to their hand to make it later. Only the bartender is allowed to do this. Play then moves to the left. In turn, each player must choose one of the face-up ingredients from the centre and add it to their hand. Once play reaches the bartender again, it's time for phase two, the cocktail phase. Starting with the bartender and proceeding left, you can choose to make one cocktail from the centre or one reserved cocktail from your hand, if you have one. The list of the required ingredients for each cocktail is shown on each cocktail card here. If you don't have the ingredients to make your cocktail yet, or choose not to make one, play simply moves to the left. If you choose to make a cocktail, discard the required ingredients from your hand as shown. Now, place the cocktail card face up in front of you, scoring the point shown here on the card. If you are not the bartender but want to make a cocktail, you must tip the bartender for the privilege. If you are making a cocktail and need to tip the bartender, Choose any ingredient card from your hand and place it face down, dollar side up in front of the bartender, scoring them one additional point. This card can no longer be used as an ingredient. It is also non-transferable, so cannot be used to tip another player later in the game. At the end of the round, pass the bartender chip to the left. The new bartender must discard any ingredient cards remaining in the centre and replenish to the required number. If any cocktails were made, replenish these too. If the ingredients have run out, reshuffle the discard pile to make a new draw pile. The game ends as soon as one player reaches 25 points or more from their completed cocktails and tips. Ingredients and drinks left in your hand do not count toward your score. Some handy tips. You can't make more than one cocktail per person per round. There is no limit to how many cards you can have in your hand. Some ingredients count as doubles. You can use these cards as a single ingredient, however, you don't get any change or any extra points. And that's it! To share your intoxicating wins, use the hashtag CocktailPartyGame.